Hello, and welcome to this video about the three deadliest animals on the planet. You may be surprised to learn that the top spot is not held by a fierce predator like a lion or a crocodile, but instead by a creature that is often seen as a mere nuisance. But before we get started, please hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's start with number three on our list, dogs. Dogs are often seen as our loyal companions, but they can also be deadly. In fact, they are responsible for more human deaths than any other animal, except for humans themselves. According to the World Health Organization, there are an estimated 10 to 20 million dog bites each year, with the majority of victims being children. While many of these bites are not fatal, they can still cause serious injury and infection. In some cases, dogs can also transmit deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies. Rabies is a viral disease that attacks the central nervous system and can be transmitted through the saliva of infected animals, including dogs. Once symptoms appear, the disease is almost always fatal. While rabies is rare in developed countries, thanks to vaccination programs, it still kills tens of thousands of people each year in developing countries. It's important to remember that not all dog bites are caused by aggressive or violent dogs. Some dogs may bite out of fear or in self-defense, so it's important to approach unfamiliar dogs with caution and to teach children how to interact with dogs in a safe and respectful way. Now, let's move on to number two on our list, snakes. Snakes are some of the most feared and deadly creatures on the planet, with venomous species capable of killing a human in just minutes. According to the World Health Organization, snake bites kill between 81,000 and 138,000 people each year, with many more suffering from permanent disabilities as a result of their venom. The deadliest species of snakes are found in tropical regions, where they prey on rodents and other small animals. Some of the most venomous snakes include the inland tapan, which is native to Australia and has the most potent venom of any snake, and the black mamba, which is found in sub-Saharan Africa and is one of the fastest and most aggressive snakes in the world. Other deadly species include the king cobra, the saw-scaled viper, and the Russell's viper. Symptoms of a snake bite can vary depending on the species of snake and the amount of venom injected. Common symptoms include pain, swelling, and discoloration around the bite area, as well as nausea, vomiting, and difficulty breathing. In severe cases, a snake bite can cause paralysis, internal bleeding, and even death. While many snake bites can be treated with antivenom, this treatment is often expensive and difficult to access in developing countries. As a result, snake bites remain a major public health concern in many parts of the world. It's important to remember that snakes are not inherently evil or aggressive creatures. They typically only bite humans when they feel threatened or are defending themselves. If you are in an area where snakes are common, it's important to wear protective clothing, watch where you step, and avoid handling or approaching snakes. And now, we come to the number one deadliest animal on the planet. Is it a bear? A lion? A tiger? No, it's the mosquito. Yes, you heard that right. The mosquito is responsible for more deaths each year than any other animal, including humans. While most people think of mosquitoes as merely annoying pests that cause itchy bites, they are actually one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. But why are they so deadly? Mosquitoes are responsible for transmitting a number of deadly diseases to humans, including malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, and yellow fever. Malaria alone kills more than 400,000 people. While the disease can be treated with medication, it remains a major public health concern in many parts of the world, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. Malaria is caused by the plasmodium parasite, which is carried by Anopheles mosquitoes. When an infected mosquito bites a person, the parasite is injected into the person's bloodstream, where it travels to the liver and then to the red blood cells. Once inside the red blood cells, the parasite reproduces and eventually causes the cells to burst, releasing even more parasites into the bloodstream. This cycle of infection and destruction can cause a range of symptoms, including fever, chills, headache, muscle aches, and fatigue. Malaria can be a deadly disease, particularly in young children, pregnant women, and people with weakened immune systems. According to the World Health Organization, there were an estimated 229 million cases of malaria worldwide in 2019, with an estimated 409,000 deaths. The vast majority of these deaths occurred in sub-Saharan Africa, where the disease is most prevalent. 
the impact of malaria on children is particularly devastating. According to UNICEF, malaria is one of the leading causes of death among children under the age of five in sub-Saharan Africa. In 2019, an estimated 274,000 children died from the disease in this region alone. The disease also has long-term effects on child development, with survivors often experiencing cognitive impairment and learning difficulties. Preventing malaria requires a multifaceted approach. One of the most effective ways to prevent the disease is to control the mosquito population through the use of insecticides and mosquito nets. Insecticide-treated bed nets have been shown to be particularly effective in preventing malaria transmission and are recommended by the World Health Organization as a key strategy for malaria control. Other strategies include indoor residual spraying, which involves spraying insecticide on the walls and ceilings of homes, and larval control, which involves targeting mosquito breeding sites with insecticides or other measures. Despite the availability of effective prevention and treatment measures, malaria remains a major public health concern in many parts of the world, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. The disease has a devastating impact on individuals, families, and entire communities, and can perpetuate poverty and inequality. Addressing the problem of malaria will require sustained effort and investment, both in research to develop new tools and strategies for prevention and treatment, and in strengthening health systems to ensure that those in need have access to care. In conclusion, while dogs and snakes may be some of the most feared and deadly animals on the planet, it is the tiny mosquito that holds the top spot as the deadliest animal of all. So the next time you're swatting away a pesky mosquito, remember that it's not just an annoyance, it could be carrying a deadly disease. Protecting yourself from mosquito bites by wearing protective clothing, using insect repellent, and sleeping under mosquito nets can help reduce your risk of contracting these deadly diseases. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and interesting. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and I look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.